This episode was brought to you by Pentester Academy, the leader in online cybersecurity education. Join over 10,000 professionals from 90 countries to learn security online. I'm Marley Oxenholm, and I'm here at Riskier North America headquarters, and I'm sitting down with Jasper and Robert, and they're going to walk us through an attack tree. Yeah, thanks, Marley. So I popped up an attack tree here on the screen, uh, which is one that we commonly use when looking at um, mobile phone solutions, mm -hmm. uh, specifically payments on there. And what you see is at the, at the top of the screen, we basically have the attacker position where he starts off. So he has some kind of physical access or remote access, uh, approximate access, which is Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, mm -hmm. uh, to the device. And um, way at the bottom, we have um, attacker goals, like they want to clone uh, a payment device, or maybe they want to do a virtual relay attack. Um, but in order to get there, they have to walk through this tree by doing different attacks. So each of the arrows here, basically represents an, a step in, in an attack. Um, we use this to visualize um, the entire attack tree um, in order for us to analyze w how difficult each of these individual arrows is. Now, what Robert will show us um, is basically the process that we go through once we actually get a, a piece of software that implements this and the types of tests that we might be doing in order to um, adjust this picture. So, Robert? Yeah. So, let's say um, we have this solution. It could have been an embedded system with a firmware or some hardware security solution. But in this case, it's a mobile app. Mm -hmm. um, so, we have to think about kind of how we're getting into this. If, if we're delivered the source code uh, that we can review or a built package that we can run on our test devices and emulators, uh, we'll start analyzing it. and. Uh, as an example, like as a hy hypothetical solution, um, let's say one of the first things that we find out is that installing a malicious app doesn't immediately give us root. So this platform has privilege levels. What we would do is go back and update this attack tree um, to basically say that um, we actually ran into something uh, sandbox. So this is basically something that uh, will stop us temporarily, but we can use an exploit like Talroot, something that can uh, elevate our privilege from within the application to the system level. And so the line is dashed basically because there is a protection, but it's not being effective against us and our, our tools. Um, but you see that the attack path is still broken. Mm -hmm. We have gray dash lines. Those are countermeasures we can't get past. So. What we need to do is find a way to defeat the anti-rooting. And what we can use is our in-house stealth rooting tools. Um, and that allows us to update it like this. So at this point, there's a complete path starting with the access, uh, access vectors, mm -hmm. um, heading all the way down through defeating the anti-rooting and then to the goals. Um, yeah, and visually, this lets us show how the attack path is made, um, why that's a risk, um, and where the strengths and weaknesses are in this particular solution. Okay, cool. Yeah. yeah, so we can go back to our customer and say, hey, so if you have a phishing attack that would install a malicious app, um, your sandbox is, you know, making it difficult for an attacker to get into root, but as Robert just indicated, maybe there's some routing, like towel root, that, that would still allow us to get, get through there. Once they have root privileges, um, they can use any number of um, routing tools, like we have some in-house stealth routing kits um, that hide the, the routing from uh, the detection. And then an attacker can continue to, for instance, emulate an NFC interface, which would allow um, proxying payment requests between different devices. So for instance, if I install, so if I have a broken device like this, I can actually relay any of the NFC communication from my attacker device to your device. Mm -hmm. And then even though I'm in the store purchasing something, I'm using your wallet to pay for it. Mm -hmm. um, so that's the, the, the relay attack, the virtual relay attack. So really, uh, pictures like this allow us to explain where, uh, where the weaknesses and the strengths in the system are. 
and allow us to explain what uh, what the results are of of um, of this uh, security posture. Very cool. Thank you, guys. Yeah. Thanks. This episode was brought to you by Pentester Academy, the leader in online cybersecurity education. Join over 10,000 professionals from 90 countries to learn security online.